Welcome to We Wear Wellness, where we talk about mindset, spirituality, mental health, personal development, productivity, and a lot more. So today I want to talk about big um, productivity hacks that actually waste time and that actually really don't work. Um, of course, now this is based on my experience and I, before I start the video, you know, if any of these things um, are things that you try or you do and you love them, you know, by all means, that's great. But these are a couple of one, two, three, four, four things that I find are popular, but I don't really find any benefit in them. In fact, I feel like they actually harm uh, my productivity levels. So let's get started. The first one is tracking your time. So I know time tracking is like a rage and it's supposed to really help you, you know, build awareness, kind of get an idea of where you're spending your time and what might be huge time wasters, which I do see some merit in that. But what I found when I started trying to track my time, and, and I did it for a really long time, I had an Excel sheet, um, and then sometimes I would just write it on a piece of paper, um, you know, and I did it for a couple of months, I really tried my best, and I realized that I wasn't really seeing any benefit from this. Instead, I was actually wasting a lot of time trying to track every minute, because sometimes you don't finish tasks right at 11.00, you'll finish it at 11.03. And you, while you're writing your um, time, you're taking another two minutes, right? So what do you write? Um, it just gets all really confusing. Or you might finish at 11 and you, by the time you write it down on your time tracker, you go pee and you come back or you drink a sip of water, it's 11.07. .07. How do you manage that? And so for someone who's like, you know, very particular and organized. Like if, I, if I'm doing something, I want it to be perfect, which is a little bit about the perfectionist side of me, but um, it just didn't seem to work out. It wasted a lot of my time where I was figuring out how to track the time perfectly. Another thing is that time isn't always linear. And I, that sounds a little crazy, but hear me out. I've actually posted about this on Instagram as well, but you know, there's always times where you sit down and you, you feel like you get into something, you're in the zone, maybe you're like creating some art or uh, you're doing something that's really exciting for you and you look up and you feel like, oh yeah, it's only been five minutes and it's been like three hours, right? That's happened before, right? But at the same time, think about the times where you're at work or you were in a class and you're just staring at the clock waiting for it to tick and, and it just doesn't move. Right? So that's why time isn't really linear. That sometimes something that feels a really long time is actually really tiny and something that is actually really long feels really tiny. Um, but you know what I mean. And even in practical aspects, has this ever happened to you where you think a task is gonna take you just 30 minutes, you're gonna sit down, get it done, but when you sit down, it actually takes you four hours right? That happens to all of us. There's always those tasks where you feel like it's only going to take about this much time, but it actually takes this much time. On the other hand, there are things that you think will take you so long and you procrastinate, but when you sit down to do it, it just, it's a breeze. And so what I'm trying to say here is that sometimes the same task um, takes you a really long time. And on other days, it'll take you just two minutes or five minutes. And that's because there are a lot of other variables that play into how much time we take to finish a task, like, you know, our emotional energy, um, how we feel, our mental energy, if we're in a good mood and a bad mood, how stressed we are, how much focus we have, um, all of these things play a role in how fast we can accomplish a task. Um, and not to mention even physical energy, like how tired we are in general, right? Or, um, you know, if we've gone for a run and come back, or if we've just been working or we're sick, there are so many factors that play into how fast we, we finish something. And so that's why I really feel that it's not very helpful to always track your time because it just like, Maybe something will take you five minutes today, but tomorrow it's gonna to take you 30 minutes. And how do you allocate time for that? You sort of have to, you know, go with the flow. And if you don't, if you're always tracking your time and being like, no, this took me five minutes yesterday, so it has to take me five minutes today. Well, then you're not gonna be a flexible enough to be able to adjust the time accordingly and actually get the work done. You might just be stuck into, you know, panic mode because, oh my goodness, you spent 25 minutes extra, or you'll just be taking a lot of time adjusting everything else on your tightly packed 
off schedule because you're tracking everything minute to minute. Does that make sense? I feel like it does make sense. And especially if you're anything like me, then you would totally relate to this. And also another thing with time tracking is that we need time to just be without thinking about, oh, this is my being time. We just need time to be. We're humans, we're not robots. And so I feel like the whole time tracking thing is very robotic and really puts us into a box. Like, you know, what if we were sitting and zoning out, but we actually had a creative inspirational idea and we started writing a book in our movie, in, in a book in our movie, a book in our mind. Um, you know, how do you track that time? What do you write when you're writing down your time thingy, timestamp? I also just wanted to add at this point though that sometimes I do time track like what I do is like if I'm starting a task then I might note down you know when I started it and what I did in, in general in the day but this is just to keep track of like get a general idea and get to know a little bit more about myself just to get a general idea of you know okay so um, maybe creating some content took me one hour rather than five minutes which I usually think so then tomorrow when I'm writing my to-do list I'm not just putting like five minutes for for creating content because I know that it actually takes me way longer um, so it just helps you know keep the expectations in um, check and just helps you um, like know where your time is going because sometimes you zone out and you feel like where did my time even go you know what what I was trying to I thought I did so much but I didn't do anything um, but <clears throat> why I'm saying this is because I want this video to be more of like an inspiration that you know um, Listen to it and see that if it, if it doesn't work for you because it didn't really work for me the way people spoke about it Then it's okay But if it does if time tracking does work or any other productivity tip for that matter if, if it does work for you then you know by all means do it but i think my, my my point of this video is just to highlight the fact that everything that people say online isn't necessarily going to work for you and that's okay like find what works for you you know what i mean um don't take anything at face value and be like oh my goodness something's wrong with me because this is not working out for me and it's just stressing me out more but that probably means there's something wrong with me and i'm not doing it correctly no it's just that you know some People have different brains and different habits and different techniques. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you that. And finally, the problem with time tracking is that sometimes you, you know, you get off track. You might zone out or you might take 30 minutes instead of five minutes for a task. And where does that leave you feeling? That leaves you feeling like blah, you might be irritated with yourself, you'll you'll criticize yourself, or you might say things like or think things like, oh my goodness, you're always wasting time, I'm such a loser, I can never work, I'm not productive, I'm behind, now the whole day is ruined and I'm a failure. And that just spirals into negativity and demotivates you and really takes away your uh, your focus and your productivity overall. And so I just find like it's a much better option to write down a couple of things that you need to do like one to three things max three priorities in your day and just focus on those you know and go with the flow and then and think about where your energy is how much time you might need to spend on it and it's okay if you need some extra time today or some less time and if you feel like oh yeah you know you're in focus mode and you are really happy with um how you're going about your day then you might might be like, okay, well, I'm gonna set a goal and I'm gonna see if I can finish this task in 10 minutes. And you try, like, I'm not saying don't, don't push yourself, but do it when it feels aligned with you, right? It's all about flow and balance because I feel like when you're forcing something, it just fizzles out and that's not a fun way to live. That's a very stressful way to live. And I feel like, you know, why not create a way where you are in flow, you're when you feel like you're very focused you work and when you're not so focused you don't work of course that takes into consideration that you don't have like pressing urgent things to do right now your boss is not calling you up and being like where is that work um i understand but besides that i'm talking about you know just like chores or taking a walk or exercising while it's really helpful to to have a routine which yes definitely routines are super helpful there's also a lot of merit which i feel is not um really given credit you know in the in productivity world where people just talk a lot about you know productivity hacks and blah 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 is it is just check in with yourself what does your body tell you what does your energy levels tell you what does your emotional t emotions tell you you know your body is smarter than you think um and when you tap into that you're gonna be a lot more effective because there are forces at play which this sounds crazy but you have experienced this because you know sometimes you have a creative light bulb moment that you cannot plan or put on a to-do list 
right? And it just comes when you're in alignment, when you're in the flow. And that's probably the most productive thing in your day, but you didn't plan it, right? And at the same time, there are just times where no matter how hard you try and you're forcing it, um, you know, you just can't focus or you can't come up with an idea and forcing it does not help. Right? And so then you might go take a walk or you might just forget about it for half a day and go for brunch and have mimosas or whatever you want to do um, and come back and then you you are refreshed. But you can't plan that. That's all into um, just living within alignment, living in flow, balancing the masculine and the feminine energies, you know, the routine and the structure versus the flow and just Feel like i don't know what other word to use besides flow um but you know just where you feel into your heart and you're like hmm, yeah this feels like a great idea right now and you do it and it is a great idea and that's like when you really check in with yourself not just like oh it's a great idea to jump off a cliff no but you know when the, the true deep wisdom comes in from within you which i know it's there and if you feel like maybe okay tonby that sounds great but what are you talking about that i don't have any wisdom that's a lie that's a lie that your ego self is telling you you have that wisdom so you just have to check in with yourself you know sit down breathe feel the energy feel what's going on in your heart in your chest area how do you feel your stomach area your gut is a very strong um, indicator of your um intuition and yeah, you know, you can do this. You can be a productive superhuman superpower by tuning into yourself and giving yourself a break from all these like two, 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 like productivity tips and tricks, um, which I have a couple of others, which I never really got to in this video about well, don't, what don't really work. Um, but let me know if you time track and if you want to hear the other productivity tip thingies that I feel are not helpful. Um, Put that in the comments below if that is of interest to you and if you do time track and if you find it um, beneficial i would love to hear your opinion your side of the story um but yeah i would love to know in general what you think of the video so put it in the comments and of course if you want to keep your vibe high and you know just feel more positive and aligned and remember that you are um connected to this positive energy then i do have affirmations for you so the link is in the bio you can just download them they are basically five free affirmations for your phone wallpaper and they're really pretty so every time you unlock your phone you see this pretty affirmation that reminds you you know to stay positive to choose a positive thought actually um not just force positive on to you onto yourself but like nicely flow into the positive energy which is a very different thing than forcing basically we're not about force 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 over here because that just doesn't work like i've tried it so much and it just always left me feeling worse and feeling more blah and feeling like i hate myself because i'm not able to do what i force myself to do so you know what this is a better way according to me but of course i would love to hear your side as well if you disagree or agree um but yeah i am i am so i love you guys thanks for tuning in and uh, take care